Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, my name is Nafa Zakirama and I'm from AG5. Today I will explain about one of bit and piece part from any specific book by Professor Dr. Ahmad Akshat. And today I'm trying to explain about used to and to be used to. As we know that used to and to be used to is a very common problem in our life. So we have to learn out how to use used to and to be used to. Because you can see that used and to be used to is almost same, but it has definitely a different uh, in meaning. So first I will explain about used to. So used to is to describe something that we did in the past. So we can say that used to is for first. First for past state or past situation. Second one is explain regular past action that different from the So we use used to to explain uh, our state, our past state, and to explain our situation in the past. And the second one is the regular past action, but different from now. So we can see that there's a change here, different from now. So if we use used to, it can explain about um, our situation in the past, the change of our situation in the past uh, with now, in the present time. Okay, remember that this, this, there, there's two situations that we have to use used to. The first is to explain about it, explain or describe about our past situation or past state, and the second one is regular action that different from now, the change or from our condition in the past to uh, the present time. Okay, now we will put used in a sentence. sentence we have to know about the formulation first. So the formulation is uh, for the positive state it must be subject plus used to plus verb one or infinitive. change. So, we have to remember that used to only want to meet with infinitive or verb 1. So, if you want to put verb 2 here or verb 3, it must be wrong. So, you have to put verb 1. Because used to only want to meet with verb 1 or infinitive. And in the negative set, when, uh, we can see that here, from used to become used to. Why? Why from used to in a positive statement become used to in negative statement? The reason is because of didn't. Didn't here has, has explained about the past time. The past time has been explained by did time. Didn't. Past. So we have to get 
the use, we have to change use to the verb one. Because we can uh, put two verb two here. Two um two verb that explain about the past situation. So we have to change use into verb one, back to verb one, from used to to the used to. From used to to the used to. And also in interrogative statement we have to put didn't in the first and then subject and then used to same like in the negative statement and then verb one. Okay, so the points here is uh, we have to remember that used to only want to meet with verb one or infinitive, so we can't put verb one, verb two, or verb three here. Because you still only need to be one. Okay, and that's gonna be changed. Okay, now we're going to explain to the example. So the first example. Okay, if we talk about the past time in the used to, 
So, in 2 videos 2, we talk about the present time. So, we use 2 videos 2 if you want to talk about the present statement. And then to describe um, our habit in the present time our habit in the present time so the key of using to be used to just only for the present time to explain our present time to explain our habit our uh, what we always do in the present time not in the past so if you want to use to be used to to explain about your present your past time it must be wrong because to be used to only want to meet with uh, only explain about the present time. Okay, to put it in the, in the sentence. The formulation is, for positive statement, it must be subject plus to be plus used to plus verb one. And then in negative subject this to be plus not used to to be subject used to this work one. So if you want to put to be used to in a sentence, you have to um, join the rule that subject and then to be used to be uh, to be here is to be in this case is I is R. Just only I is R and then used to and then verb one. Like I said just now, used to um, only want to meet verb 1. Okay, the negative statement, it must be subject plus to be, plus not, plus used to, and then plus verb 1. In the interrogative, to be, plus subject, plus used to, plus verb 1. Okay, the point is, used to must be um, followed by before used to, we have to put to be, and after used to, we have to, I'm sorry, we have to work in. No work one, but work in. So the point is, before used to, we have to put to be, and after used to, we have to put work in. That is the must. Okay, we're going to the example. Okay, example for to be used to is I am. I'm used to be sleeping. 
I their subject and then I used to be and useful and then it's working. So before you do, we have to put to be and after you do, we have to put verb in. So just that's the point. The point is before you do, we have to put uh, we have to put uh, to be and after you do, we have to put verb in. Okay, maybe that's all. Maybe that's all. The main point, the difference of you used to and to be used to is used to just for the past time and to be used to to explain about the present time, our habit in the present time. And this used to uh, change. There's a change there. There's a change between the past time to the present time. And uh, to use used to in a sentence, we have to put verb one or infinitive after used to. Only that. And then to be used to, we have to put to be before used to and then verb in after used to. Used to means here uh, biasanya. Ato or sudah terbiasa. And used to here means dulunya. Or dulu pernah. So that's the point. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.